<laughs> Welcome back to Technical Drafting. In this short video, we're going to go over what is going to be expected uh, on the uh, doing a sketch. So, our three main uh, things that I'll be looking for is how are you doing on your form, your divide, and your um, beautify steps of the sketch. And so, uh, as we look at the steps, this example that we're going to go through, um, I'll, I'll kind of give you tips on uh, what, 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 what it is that I'll be looking for. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we'll be looking at this tool holder this week, and you'll have it in the uh, homework, what it looks like um, in the dimensions, because you'll be doing the CAD eventually as well. But doing it as a sketch, we want to look at that length, uh, the height and that width, getting that form. Step one is the form, and in the form we're looking for what is the overall length, width, and height. So once you kind of get those proportions out in your head, uh, here you'll see that I kind of used the same proportion for the width and height, and then obviously the object is longer than the width and height are, so we make the, the length longer. Now, that pretty much is the first step, getting the overall form. And now you're going to start dividing. Step two is dividing. So you start looking at what features do I want to divide first. Get your major features first, and then you'll look at your um, smaller, uh, uh, the, the smaller features after after that. So. What I'm looking for is I'm kind of dividing out the, the overall height of each, each piece and I'm tracing that around so I know where those things are located um, because in those locations um, I'm trying to then add my, the other features that I need. So, um, I first got the, the, you know, the top thickness and the bottom thickness. Uh, then I, we're here, we're looking at the, the front fork. Where is that located? You know, on the thirds. Um, then the features of rounding off the corner radius. Just divide out from your overall form. Where are those little... Now, I kind of want the center line because I know that there's a little bit of an offset from the center line that I can continue. So once I know where the center is, then I can kind of just eyeball over how, how much further do I need to go um, either way. Uh, so I did that for the top, you know, slanted, and then working here on the bottom slanted section as well. And then we're trying to get, we have a truncated, you know, radius around this uh, back end. Um, and I know that this radius has to touch the actual end of the piece. So I'm locating the center of the hole first. And that way all my arcs and, you know, hole radius will all match up. And so from that overall hole or roundness, I can then... Uh, use the tangent of that to connect to um, the rest of the piece. Um, here I'm identifying, you know, the raised portion of that, that rim um, around the hole. And so there's that raised section. And you can see I'm filling in the tangents here as well um, and getting those located. Once you kind of have it all at this point, you've taken care of, you've divided out every feature that you needed. Now I'm adding in with a darker uh, pen, uh, getting a darker line on just the object that I want to see. Okay, so on your assignment, you probably did the, the form using, I'd probably recommend using a uh, pencil to do the form. And the divide, and then use a pen to do these uh, object heavier, thicker lines. So after you get 
get, this is kind of the first step on the, on the beautify. So the first step on the beautify is basically darken all your object uh, lines. And then you're going to go through, uh, remember, it's, we want to tell people that it's a three-dimensional object. So we're choosing, well, which side of this object is the darker side. And I just, for reference, always kind of make the top side lighter or the lightest. And usually, you know, the side facing the right will be my darker. And the side facing the left will be in between the lightest and the darkest shade. So you can see here, I have my darkest um, hatching lines and then, um, you know, my, my medium hatching line. Now you don't have to add color, but adding color to me just helps, you know, give it a little bit more life that it's a real object, not just, you know, a drawing. And so that is totally up to you. Um, if you want to use, use color and add color. Now basically I, when I add color, I'm adding in the, in the same way I added the hatch. I'm trying to make one side darker, one side the lightest, which is the white, and then one side, you know, in between. Um, here I'm adding just a drop shadow to the bottom of the, the cube that was already there. Um, and so that's just one way I add color. It helps me bring life to the object. And then don't forget you're going to letter your name and the title of the sketch, in this case, would be the tool holder. And, um, why don't you also, uh, if, it, if it states what the material is made out of, then you might want to include that as a note as well. And this one is aluminium. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below or uh, you can just email me uh, with any questions that you may have and uh, hopefully this will help you as you are turning in your assignments.